Mingalabar Kamya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Election results announced on Thursday gave the NLD a majority in both houses of Union Parliament. The National League for Democracy will now have the power to pick two of the three presidential nominees. The Army will pick the third. The NLD have not yet passed the mark of 329 union parliamentary seats required to outweigh unelected military appointees. But with just over half the seats announced, the NLD is on track to achieve that and beyond. On Tuesday, the party's leader Aung San Suu Kyi met with celebrity supporters at her Rangoon home to thank them for their efforts during the campaign period. Burma's foreign minister says the country has struck a new deal on water and security with China and its Southeast Asian neighbours. On Friday in China's Yunnan province, foreign ministers from China, Burma, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam pledged fresh cooperation on economics and security. The Langkang Mekong River Pact, as it will be known, is the first sub-region cooperation between the six countries involved. Future cooperation is likely to be shaped by a series of major dam projects along the Linkang Mekong River, largely funded by China. Rights groups say the river is being choked, however. Thailand's foreign minister said the pact will be to the benefit of all. There are uh, more than just water resource management issues. Uh, there are issues of uh, political security and there are also the issue on economic cooperation and social, cultural and people-to-people -people contacts, which apparently are the same theme and the principal guidelines uh, which bind ASEAN together uh, towards uh, this uh, ASEAN community uh, goals. British and Japanese war veterans reunited on Thursday to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. Aging form adversaries met in the British Embassy in Tokyo, where the group reminisced about two sides of a vicious battle in Burma. War in the former British colony touched the lives of millions of Burmese and ethnic people and killed an estimated 250,000 civilians as control passed from Britain to Japan and back again. Although these men were on separate sides in Burma, and during the Battle of Kohima, they meet here today in friendship. You can find more on all of today's top stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.